Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Mish Love, and in today's video, we are going to Costco to get some weight loss items. Let's go. One of my favorite things to get at Costco is this plain Greek yogurt. It's 18 grams of protein, so it's high in protein. That's one thing I love about it. If you're on the go and you're rushing, then they have these sugar-free yogurt cups. These are really good. When I first started my journey, I used to do these, but I like the plain Greek yogurt because it's higher in uh, protein. They also have this um, version as well. It just has a little bit more sugar, so it's a little bit more sweeter. A couple months ago, I switched over to this butter when I tell you guys I love it. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. And of course, it's cheaper when you get it from Costco. Now, you always want to make sure you have a natural sweetener at home at all times. And Costco has more than enough honey that you can choose from. Honey, of course, is always going to be the go-to. But they do have something else there that I thought was honey that is not, which is blue agave, only because it was right by the honey. And I had, I've never heard of blue agave in my life. And it's actually from a plant. And when I tell you guys, it's sweet, but not too sweet. And I love how loose it is. I've been eating it for a year, and I'm never going back to honey. I just love it. Um, make sure you have some granola for your yogurt as well to make it taste a little bit better and this is the cleanest peanut butter i've ever seen in my entire life and i had to get that for my son also for the jelly the jelly does have cane sugar but it is the cleanest one that i can find when it came to ingredients and just all the stores you guys know i'll be shopping at some stores this is the protein pancake mix that i get i have been eating this for three years i've tried other protein um, pancake mix and i just didn't like it so i'm gonna stick with this one um, if you guys are cereal people then this is really good the ingredients was really good and they have all the nuts that you need to start your day off with anytime you see this company just try it trust me their ingredients are so clean they make everything from avocado oil versus like the other companies canola oil vegetable oil palm oil soybean oil all the oils that are really bad for us are clog our arteries this company just makes it so much better and so much cleaner for us so i've been hearing everybody talk about this burger sauce so i wanted to try it remember your diet does not have to be a hundred percent clean so this won't hurt you trust me um now this sauce right here is my baby i love her i get it from costco every time i'm already on my fifth bottle ever since i discovered there is definitely worth it try the sauce it's amazing so i get my olive oil from costco this is how you're going to make your weight loss journey so much cheaper get your oils from costco do not get it from the grocery store because they're about the same price but for so much smaller so get your oils from costco you're gonna save so much more money and you're gonna be 10 times happier and they have all the healthy oils and the unhealthy oils at costco as well i have been hearing a lot about ghee i think that's how you say it but i haven't tried it yet when it comes to sprays please get this one it's about four dollars more than the canola one and this is just so much more healthier and it has zero calories this balsamic vinegar is my favorite thing to put on my salads. My friend just put me on and I tell you guys, it is amazing. Plus, anything with vinegar is going to be amazing for our weight loss journey to keep our blood sugar levels on point. So please, if you don't get anything in this video, I'll tell you, get this one. When you're on your weight loss journey, you do want to lower your sodium intake. So this is how I do it. Instead of doing garlic salt, I go to garlic powder. And instead of doing onion salt, I use onion powder. And if I'm going to do five seasonings, everything, four of them is going to be powders and only one is going to contain sodium. So that's how I'm able to keep down my sodium intake turmeric should also be a staple in your household fresh is always going to be better but this is perfectly fine you can put these in your smoothies or you can make tea to help you with your inflammation also cinnamon is amazing you can also put that in your tea but it's primarily what i use to put in my pancakes to make them taste a little bit better vanilla is also another sweetener that you can have in your house it's going to be great for you on your weight loss journey if you're into flax seeds they have them there as well i'm more of a chia seeds person because it has more protein and i feel like it has more benefits so that's why i choose chia seeds over this but you can do whatever you like don't forget we need our apple cider vinegar we're drinking this every single morning with some two tablespoons with some glass of water to help us regulate our blood sugar throughout the day you also can have it at night and also before every meal if you would like to don't forget your plain vinegar because we're going to need that for our veggies and to clean our meat and bone broth is really good for the gut and it also has protein and you can just drink it just like it's some tea um, and the taste is pretty good i do like the one at sprouts a little bit better but this one's also good so this is going to be my favorite bread brand there is. Um, there's other brands as well, but this one's just my favorite. It's just what I like. You also can eat these in the morning as well. Like I said, just don't overdo it, but you'll be fine. Now, this is very debatable, but I was eating this when I lost the 86 pounds. But I do choose this one over the 
regular tortilla one, the ingredients are a lot cleaner. Don't forget your brown rice. You can get it in these little packets um, or they do have them at Costco in these really big bags as well. Quinoa is also a really good rice replacement. So if you're not trying to eat rice right now, this is going to be really good for you as well. And then you can throw some of this on there and then you have a whole healthy meal that fast let's get into the snacks these were one of my go-to's i love the fact that it has protein remember everything protein these you can definitely eat on your weight loss journey please eat them this company right here when i tell you anything they have please get it the ingredients are so clean and their stuff is really good my baby eats it as you guys know this is like one of the most popular popcorn that you can have to weight loss i have never tried these but they um have really good reviews on them and you need your nuts, okay? I have this whole big bag in my house right now. I love me some walnuts. Whatever nuts you like, they have them all. Just grab you some nuts, okay? You need your nuts. Um, these as well have some protein in it, so I like that. And they are low in sugar. So for your snacks, remember you want high protein, low sugar. Um, if you have a sweet tooth as well, these also have low sugar. Now, when it comes to snacks, I suggest all the snacks that I have in this video that you're about to see, but I honestly will say you want to get this stuff. This is not a daily thing where you want to be eating these snacks all the time. This is just when you have that sweet tooth, you will grab these versus getting like a snicker or like a cupcake. So yes, you can eat them every day, but try to get your body to be as used to as natural sugar as possible, like fruit. These are my favorite crackers to eat with some guacamole. Don't eat them by themselves because they're a little bit dry, but with some guacamole, they are perfect. Make sure you guys get some flowers because you deserve them. They have the most prettiest flowers at Costco, I swear. These are some more um, snacks as well. And like I said, all the snacks that I have in this video were the least amount in sugar. And they all had some type of protein in it. So I did read the ingredients. Also, when it comes to chips, these are made out of chicken. So they're high in protein low in calories and carbs so that's an amazing thing so when i was craving chips i was just eat these and they used to hit my fix every time now this is a little higher in sugar than i want it to be but when you feel like snacking on something then it's going to be better to do it with this make sure like i said you guys want to make sure you eat your nuts your nuts are very good for you and they're going to help you on your weight loss journey overall now if you have a sweet tooth and you just have to have candy please try these Honestly, my three-year-old did not like them. It was not sweet enough, but I did. I like these as well. They're not super sweet, but once you get your body used to eating this type of stuff, then you're going to be fine. If you want a quick snack, all these items that are coming up are going to be great for you. Always remember to eat the serving size. You don't want to eat it too much. These are, like I said, backup options. I'm always going to be a firm believer in that you need to be as natural as possible when it comes to your snacks. Your body can get used to natural sugar and not processed sugar, and it's easier for your body to also lose weight that way as well. But these items will not kill you. You will still lose weight with these items as well. Um, a lot of the ingredients were clean. That's why I chose to put them in this video. And like I said, Costco have a gang of nuts, and if you're into beef jerky, here you go. So you need to stay hydrated when you're on your weight loss journey especially if you are in the gym so you need your electrolytes and let me show you how i do mine i don't do what the instruction says which is one bottle of water and one pack it's too sweet it's 11 grams of sugar and that's just going to be too sweet for you so i get my jug of water which takes four water bottles and i put all four water bottles plus the electrolyte pack and i drink it that way and i drink that throughout the day and it works perfectly for me so these protein shakes has been one of my favorite ways to get my protein in, especially in the morning. I will eat my oatmeal and I will drink one of these and now I already have 20 grams of protein. I do like the plant-based um, version more than the milk version. For some reason, my stomach just doesn't work right with the milk version, but they do have both and they're chocolate. They only have chocolate at Costco for some reason, but they pretty good um i used to do these as well but i don't like the taste i like the other brand taste a lot more but you can do these as well because they have 10 more grams of protein so remember we want high protein they also have protein cookies these are a little higher in sugar but like i said this is going to be better than eating a regular cookie so try it when you're having those cravings they also have this um coffee brand as well so if you want to get you some caffeine in the morning and i forgot to tell you guys that these are low in sugar um they also have these as well the taste on these are way better than any other protein shake that i've ever had i'm just trying to cut back on dairy but i honestly might go back to these for a while because they were actually really good these are one of my favorite protein bars. They just don't always have them at 
at Costco, but the ingredients are the best and the sweetener that they use are dates. So that's one thing I love about this. But this was my go-to. I love the fact that they are, for 20 of them, they're $20. So it's a dollar each. So I love the price more. I did not like the peanut butter ones, but my son will eat those. My son eat, was eating these as much as I was. So I'm like, if he can eat a Snicker, he can eat a protein bar. He will be fine. He loved them. And this was my go-to. I really liked it the most because it was a dollar. Um, I've never had these before, but the ingredients were pretty clean. So that's why I put that in that they're low and sugar so when you are picking your proteins your snacks it should always be high in protein and low in sugar now i've never had this brand before so i don't know what it tastes like but you should definitely try it if you don't like those other brands those brands i've been using for the last two years and i'm just a stick to what i know type of person so all these other companies i'm pretty sure is good as well because costco wouldn't have them and they're always there so they're selling out so you just have to figure out what works for you because what i like you might not like or what your friend like you know you just gotta figure out what works for you pretty much but the they do have a lot of different um proteins that you guys can actually try another thing that i love to use is collagen it is amazing for your gut your skin um and it has an additional 20 grams of protein and that's one thing i love this is actually the one that i actually use i just add a scoop of this in my protein powder and i literally go from 20 grams of protein to an, uh, 40 grams of protein and i add my hemp seeds and now i'm at 50 grams of protein just for a protein shake they do have this brand as well i've never tried it like i said i'm gonna stick to what i know type of person this is the company that i use when it comes to my protein powders just like i do for my liquid protein as well um it has always worked for me i've tried other companies i really didn't like it so i just went back to this and like i said it's been two years and it works for me so you just have to figure out what works for you and your weight loss journey will be that much easier thank you guys for watching i hope this video helped comment down below if you guys have any questions and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and hit the notification bell so you can hear every time i drop a video because it's definitely going to help you on your weight loss journey and i see you guys next time bye